Hey guys, so uh, today I decided I would do a little story about the day my CRPS spread. Um, so a little sort of background information, I guess. Uh, January 2018, shattered my heel, um, had one surgery, wasn't done right, had a second surgery to sort of fix it. Uh, noticed that my foot was turning black, had a third surgery where I started having excruciating pain. Neighbors were calling, they were like, why is your daughter screaming? Well, I was in excruciating pain. Then I had a complete reconstruction of my foot, and after that, the pain was just indescribable. So, thankfully, and this was my third surgeon up at Hershey Med, he sent me to pain management, and uh, in addition to pain meds, they wanted to do sympathetic nerve blocks. So I had one, it failed. Wanted to try a second before we went ahead with spinal cord stimulator. That didn't work either. And two days later, I woke up with a fever, and my body hurt really, really bad, like... I was just not in good shape. So I guess it was around lunchtime. We went to patient first. Uh, I was negative for the flu, negative for strep. We did an x-ray. My lungs looked fine. And so we went home. And I kept going downhill. And I guess it was around 7 o'clock at night. My fever kept going up and up and up and up. And... We were calling the doctor. He actually, like, called me from his house. And I was taking Tylenol. And once my fever reached 103, they were like, get her to Hershey now. So by this time, I was too weak to move. Um, even sitting upright, I would pass out. So a neighbor from across the street, thankfully, he literally carried me into the car. And uh, a family friend um, sort of led the way for the 45-minute drive up to Hershey Med. Um, get me inside. The waiting room is packed. I am conscious for all of 30 seconds before I am out. Um, my mom couldn't even sign me in. And so they rushed me into recess and... You know, pumped me with fluids, did everything that they needed to do to get me stable. And then it took 24 hours to get me a room. And it was pretty clear that the CRPS had spread. Um, over the 10 days that I spent there, um, they had me up to 200 milligrams of Oxy a day. Wasn't helping. Uh... I'd have flares that, you know, but the original CRPS was in my uh, lower left leg. And I was having flares basically from my middle back down to my toes, down both legs. And so um, they tried Haldol injections. Those seemed to be the only things that would basically completely knock me out. I'd even have nurses stay after their shift because it would be like, you know, one, two in the morning and I would just be screaming bloody murder because um, I was just, I was in agony, absolute agony. Um, it was, it was just horrible. Um, but it, yeah, after 10 days, they wanted to put me in a nursing home. Uh, they'd gotten me out of bed once. Uh, so I had complete, complete atrophy. I was completely weak. Um, and so at the last second, a rehab accepted me. Um, I stayed there for three weeks. It's another story for another day. Um, but yeah, that is the story of how uh, CRPS took over my life. Um,